We're now delighted to be joined over the telephone by Dr. Ayel Mahdi, Professor of Economics. Doctor, very good afternoon to you. Good evening to you. Thank you so much for joining us, Doctor. First and foremost, now, what does a budget surplus reflect since Egypt has managed to achieve an initial surplus worth 14, Egyptian, uh, 14 billion Egyptian pounds in uh, the fiscal year so far? I couldn't hear the question clearly. All right, Could Doctor. Yes, please. Yes. Can you hear me now, Doctor? Yeah, it's All right, Dr. Ali, I'm asking you about the meaning or what does this budget surplus that Egypt has managed to attain, uh, we're talking about 14 billion Egyptian pounds in the fiscal year 2020, uh, 2021, what does this budget surplus affect on the Egyptian uh, uh, The primary budget deficit that we achieved uh, reflects uh, uh, more uh, wise uh, way and uh, successful way of managing our budget, right. managing the two sides of our budget, the expenditure and um, <clears throat> both sides of uh, the budget. Uh, so uh, having a primary, a primary, sub, uh, a primary surplus right. uh, is a good sign. Mm. Uh, of, of what we're doing right now, uh, by, uh, what is achieving by the government. Right. Let's talk a bit about uh, the Egyptian economic reform program, Doctor, and how it managed to push Egypt through uh, the last uh, couple of uh, uh, years, especially with the coronavirus pandemic and the economic consequences of this pandemic. Well, I believe that Egypt has been doing uh, well. Uh, during, uh, especially during the last two or three years, uh, in, in 2016 we followed a uh, reform program, uh, and this program started to show its, uh, yeah, its good uh, positive effects uh, in 2019. However, in 2020 we went through, like all the rest of the world, the pandemic. Yes. And this uh, pandemic affected us negatively on the economic side. Mm -hmm. However, uh, it did, it, the effect of the pandemic was not as bad in Egypt as it looked like in, in other countries. Yes. So if, if you look at the GDP growth rate uh, in 2020, uh, it has been estimated to be around 3.5 or 3.6 percent uh, Year. Mm -hmm. While in most of uh, the rest of the world, except uh, except China and a few other countries, uh, the growth rate was uh, either close to one, uh, zero or minus yes. uh, or negative uh, yes. growth rate. Mm -hmm. So what we've been doing, I, I guess, uh, seems to show uh, strength of the economy, improvement in the performance of the economy. Absolutely, yes. Right, Doctor, um, what are your expectations for the second half of the fiscal year? Excuse me? What are your expectations for the second half uh, of the uh, fiscal year? Do you think we will continue with this surplus? Yes, I guess so, yes. Uh, uh, the government <coughs> as it has been pronounced by uh, some of its members, uh, predict that the growth rate will be uh, still low, around 3%. However, international organizations and, uh, you know, ranking organizations uh, seem to estimate it to have a higher estimate of the growth rate of the Egyptian economy during this fiscal year. Right. So uh, let us uh, hope for the best. I guess we're doing uh, good, we're doing well, and uh, I hope we'll uh, exceed the government's expectations even. Indeed. Right. Dr. Ayel Mahdi, Professor of Economics, thank you very much, ma'am, for joining us and for your insights. And uh, a very short break, and we'll be right back to continue. Do stay tuned.